Hi, this is Ash from Partnership Education, and today we're going to be having a look at creating an assignment in Google Classroom. Okay, let's get started. So we've navigated through to our classroom.google.com dashboard. We've got a Google Classroom that we've previously created, and as soon as we click that, we're going to drop into the Stream tab. So we're going to navigate across to Classwork, and once we've clicked that, you can see we've got the Create button. So we're going to click Create, and we've got a number of options, but we're going to keep it nice and simple and just select Assignment. Okay, so now we need to give it a title, nice and simple, just week one history. And we've got the option to add a description. We're gonna drop down and click the add button. And first in the list, we've got Google Drive. So once we've selected that, you can see that it drops straight into your Google Drive where you have the option to upload something from recent, directly from my drive, shared drives, and a number of options just from there. So if we cancel out of that and go back, we also have the option for a link. So if we have a web address that we want to copy and paste into there, we can add it straight in and that'll be appended to the assignment. Okay, under the add button, we've also got file. So once we select that, if we've got a file that isn't already up uploaded online, we can select this link and upload it directly into the assignment. Okay, if we go back to add again, we've also got YouTube. So within this option, we can start searching for a video that we'd like on a certain topic or we can click the URL and copy in a specific URL and that'll paste it straight into there. Okay, we also have, if there's not something that's already been created and we want to create it from scratch, we have the create button. So from here, we can create a doc, slide, sheet, drawing, or a form and add that directly into the Google Assignment. Okay, so the content creation on the left-hand side, we're actually gonna move over to the right-hand side now. And as you can see for this Google Classroom, we have the option to either select all students, or if you've invited all of your students and they're showing in the list, you can select individual students, so you can have it go out to all, or you can have one, two, 10, half of the class. You can be very specific and select them all in one go. Okay, underneath, we've also got the point scoring. So we can leave that at 100, we can amend that if we want to, or we can leave it as ungraded. We also have the due date field, so we, have, we can select for a time for it to be handed in by, and we can select that straight away from in there. We also have the option of a topic, so we're going to select and create a topic if you wanted to, to make that very specific for that field. And we also have the rubric option, which we're gonna look at in later videos. Okay, once we're happy with our assignment, we've got the assign button in the top right hand side. If we go slightly to the right, we've also got an arrow. So if we select that, we have the assign again, we have the option to schedule it for a later date. We have the option to save it as a draft, to come back and edit it later on. And if we're not quite happy with it, we can discard it straight away. So we're actually gonna go back and click assign. And once we've clicked Assign, that's going to take us back to the Classroom tab. It's going to show us the week one history that we've just created. And if we go away from the classwork and back to the stream, you can see that this assignment's ready to go. It's been added onto the stream. Students will receive a notification that it's ready for the work to be undertaken. And if you've added a due date, then the students will see that it's cut as an upcoming piece of work. OK, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you love this video, please click subscribe, hit the bell notification, see upcoming videos. And if you've got any comments or questions, add them below. OK, thank you for watching.